good day, YouTube and Facebook fans. Today, I would prepare some freshly made Bahamian conch chowder. As you can see, I have all the ingredients already pre pre-packaged or pre-prepared. And I will just show you how it's done step by step. Here we have six ounces of base, chicken base. We have four ounces of dice and dice count. Two ounces of dice onion. Three ounces, three tablespoons of tomato paste. We have two whole garlic. We have one ounce, a tablespoon of diced celery. We have a teaspoon of thyme, teaspoon of black pepper. We have two tablespoons of diced carrot. We have a three tablespoon diced potato. Tablespoon of oil, cooking oil. We have a half tablespoon of salt and we have two tablespoons of flour that we would mix with some some of the chicken base and we use two tablespoons of this we we'll mix this Actually, I need some more. That's a two tablespoon, three, four tablespoon. Okay, that should be it. Added to two tablespoon of flour, and this will be used as a thickening agent for the soup or the cow chowder. We have set aside. Our next step would be to start sweating these vegetables. And to do that, we have the stove on. We can add the oil, a tablespoon of cooking oil. That just seats for about a minute, then we'll add we start adding the ingredients like the garlic. Onions. Celery. Now the carrot. Get all those ingredients and we let this cook for about three minutes on medium heat. Then we add the tomato paste and the rest of and the rest of the ingredients. And it is also to have some nice, good, old Bahamian cow chowder. Yeah. 
This soup is a very soup is a very simple soup to cook. If you remember back in the day, Conchata was serving every restaurant throughout the Bahamas. Next step would be to put, add the count. Then we add the rest of seasoning like the black pepper, thyme. come to a boil before we add the thickening agent which is the flour. This is boiled about an hour, so we'll be back. No, not that. Go get the next one.
Back on the buggy. Step to the back. 